Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm John. And together we're OCB Reactions. And today we're going way back in time to a time when I couldn't even walk. And phones still had dials on them. Yeah. And, you know, cars still had carburetors. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, well, yeah, basically we're going way back in time and doing something pretty different when we haven't actually done well, we have gone back, but we haven't done like a band like this. Yeah, we're making it sound like we're going back to like the old west or something. We're going back to 1973, so, and unless yeah, carpets and polyester and plenty of pubes, yeah, and lots of really ugly furniture. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> um, art is no abortions. That's yeah. When when this came out, unless it came out like in December, I wasn't even one year old yet. I would have been one and a half. Yep, I still would have been in diapers. Um, but what we're doing is Genesis. And this is pre-Phil Collins. Uh, well, I, he might have been in a band as a drummer. Oh, okay. I, but this is Dancing with the Moonlit Night, which that's a cool title. And it's night as in Knights of the Round Table yeah, type of night. Knigget. Yes. <laughs> um, off, off of their album Selling England by the Pound. Um, now, I have heard some of Genesis when they had uh, Peter Gabriel, but uh, not a lot. Same here. It's like, because like when I was, I always kind of liked Genesis in the 80s and stuff when they're... W with Phil. With yeah. Phil. It's like, because the stuff was catchy for the most part. So it, near the end, it was like, this is trash. But yeah, it, it just it just seemed like towards the end, they were going way too much for the pop yeah, scene. And, and, and knowing that they started as a prog band. Yeah, well, no, that how weird Peter Gabriel is. <laughs> yes. Um, it's like, most people know Peter Gabriel from Sledgehammer, and, like, that's as normal as that man gets. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I like Peter Gabriel. I yes. like his voice. I like his odd take on music. I mean, I even liked his soundtrack for The Temptation of Christ. Um, I didn't know he did that. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've never seen that movie. Oh, I haven't either. I just had the... Okay, I won a lip sync contest, and that's one of the things I won was a cassette copy of. Oh, uh, okay. Do it a winger song. Holy shit, I'm old. <laughs> wow, winger. Um, <laughs> hey, before we go on, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share. Get the word out about uh, our show and any of the bands that we feature on it. Uh, go down into the description. There's going to be a uh, link to <coughs> this still video <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, I, I'm just really hoping for a lot of regular videos soon. Um, I think the next one will have an actual video. But. And then also check out our links to our GoFundMe and our Cafe Press. Come on, buy the shirt so you can also become an official OCB Groundhog. And... Uh, yeah, go back to the Nicki Minaj uh, comment section if you want to know where that came from. Yes. And just so you know, like, at the end where it's, we show you the designs, like, the Cafe Press isn't actually on a t-shirt. That's just the picture Cafe Press gave us because they had to advertise, too, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, but, whores. All right. Um, hey, do we want to go ahead and get this yeah. started? It is a longer song, so uh, let's get this moving here. Uh Stupid things are gonna move around and all that. Can you tell me where my country lies? Said the uniform to his true love's eyes. It lies with me, cried the queen of maybe. For her merchandise, he traded in his... Okay, Phil Collins and Genesis suck. <laughs> ...prize. Cried a voice in the crowd mm. Old man dies The note he left Was signed Old Father Thames It seems he's drowned Selling England By the pound Citizens of hope and glory by. It's the time of your life Easy now Sit you down 
chewing through your wimpy dreams They eat without a sound Digesting England by the bound Okay, I will say at this point that this is probably the most normal I've ever heard Peter Gabriel. Yeah, what a voice he had. Yes. Well, he probably still has. Well, no, he's younger. He probably can't exactly do yeah. what he did. Well, he's like, uh, I have him expect this song to have been recorded like in a pub, you know, and singing in a, a drunken lament. Right. It's like, it, so far I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, the, the only thing I'll say is lyrically, I, I'm catching on what's being said. So a lot of the understanding, I'm not, and I think the reason being is, it's regional. Uh, it's a regional story. It's it's about England, and not being English, I'm not really going to catch on to that. Yeah, there'll be a slight disconnect being right. a, a yank. But at the same time, I'm I'm loving it. Uh, I never knew that. Um, Genesis ever even sounded like this. I mean, I knew they had like a more progressive sound, and they were a little weirder. Um, that they were, they weren't part of the pop scene. They were more right. like, like an underground rock scene. It's and that that was, I guess, a a tragedy that it took. Like basically, I hate to say it like this, but selling out. Yeah. To get them where they were. Yeah. And then nobody ever went back. It's like mm -hmm. they didn't go back to like the non-commercially viable um, Genesis. They just listened to what they had. It would actually be cool to see them get together and and maybe move, do an album. Uh, you know, uh, a uh, you know a nostalgia thing where they got together and went back to the roots of Genesis. Uh, it would be funny too because like maybe Phil Collins wasn't in the band because there's been no drums. <laughs> All, right, All right. Well, let's keep going. Yeah. Young man says you are what you eat well Old man says you are what you wear well, well You know what you are, you don't give a damn Bursting your belt, that is your homemade chef The captain leaves Now, I often wonder, like, when growing up in the 80s, you're being more familiar with that Genesis, um, why the band, like, I, I thought they were good. Yeah. But, like, they all had these accolades, like, they were amazing. I'm like, oh, what are you talking about? Now I know. Yeah. Now I um, understand. It's, uh, they are pretty freaking amazing. I, uh, other than maybe j just for the, for the uh, sake of success, I don't know why they moved away from this. This is, uh, yeah, granted, it's not exactly accessible to a lot of people. A lot of people aren't going to dig it. I do. Yeah. Um, now, granted, like, th today, if, if you were to produce the same album today, it would have a slightly different feel simply due to production and whatnot, uh, and equipment and whatnot, but it's... And being digital. It, it, although, if you're one of those people that just absolutely loved 
Genesis, 80s Genesis, and that's, that's Genesis, and you were to listen to this, you're probably not going to like it. Um, okay, I, I just want to, was, uh, wanted to know if you did too. It's like, were you kind of like, as they went into their like little froggy thing, were you waiting for them to, the guitars get really heavy and the guy to come in like, <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, simply like, because of the fact that we <coughs> have become so spoiled to all of the prog metal that's yeah. been getting thrown at us that it's like, oh, well. Where's that part? Yeah, 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 it's not going to happen. Where's the death growls or the super heavy gent <laughs> gent part? And yeah, oh, wait, this is 73. Yeah. They didn't have that, though. All right, well, we better yeah. keep going because it, it, it does take a while. Yeah. You know, for the era, this is still pretty, I mean, it, it's advanced. Yes. Um, some of the synth, it throws me off a little bit, but it's what they had at the time. Yeah. yeah it, it's simply because they didn't have the same quality of synth that they have today. Right. But otherwise, no, this is just great. This is. Yeah, I, I'm loving every second of this. I I was looking up some stuff like, because uh, I was listening, like, there had to be more than just Peter Gabriel leaving. This can't be the original lineup. Right. Because, like, you can't go from thinking like this and play, you know, as far as songwriting goes, you can't make yourself dumb enough. I mean, <laughs> and that's not, it's like, you can't dumb it down enough to where, like, you're doing pop. Yeah. 
it's like you'll never be able to if you think like this you can't think like that generally right um I, like if i thought like this i probably couldn't really i could but it would feel disingenuous which 80s genesis didn't feel disingenuous i think and i just found like yeah there was plenty of different okay. phil collins was in the band he oh okay. a drummer. um which when he moved from singer they got a different drummer you know I do know. I mean, there was a, actually there's a long it, well, list. Well, it's it, not it, that long. It's kind of like what happened with Amburu. If you remember what we were trying to do originally, it just couldn't happen because of Maddie and I just couldn't dumb ourselves down that far. We just couldn't do it, no matter how hard we tried. So, but yeah, um, I mean, I don't. I, I'm not trying to be insulting to no. like, the later incarnation. I, I still enjoyed that, and there was a lot of interesting unique things that, that they did in that incarnation. Right. But this is just like, and I just read they started as a folk band. Oh, wow. A folk rock band, and then moved into a prog band, which, like in the metal scene, that's not that big of a, it's not no, that, no. it's not unique. It's like, that happens quite frequently. Um, like, you have like bands like Amorphous that started just as folk, and it, but it was so intricate, it got moved Right, it, it it shifted, yeah. but uh, no, I'm digging this. Yes, I love it, it, it. It's it's not. This isn't something that's normally inside of my uh, normal rotation, but I think it might become. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm grateful that somebody threw me back to like experience Genesis as they were. Yeah, not as I knew them. All right, well, we still got a little ways to go, yeah. so. Okay, so it kind of went from proggy to pretentious at the end, but I, I don't know. I I, I like it. Uh, it's um, it, this is it a got too long. But it got spacey. Yeah, um, at times, and it. But no, I I, I loved it. Oh, thank you so much. It's yeah, that was pretty awesome. And growing up in 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 my childhood. Um, no one in my family really listened to anything like this. Uh, you, you know, they, they were listening to stuff like Led Zeppelin and Queen for, you know, my brother and his friends. And then my parents, it was typically country or Elvis Presley or something like that. So I never really got to experience anything like this until, you know, I got to an age where I was coming up on my own when it came to music. So, yeah, uh, thank you. This I, was great. Yeah, growing up. Well, my childhood wasn't rock. It was Tchaikovsky and Beethoven and Brahms and Bach. and uh, So, like, this isn't that far away from it as far as, like, a weird comp the compositional style. I mean, there's still folk elements in there. Um, oh, yeah, definitely. Now, the funny thing for me was I didn't start getting into, like, classical music 
until I was in the Marine Corps. Hmm. Was, it like, <laughs> was it like March music? No, a no. little, little, just anything classical. But it's also when I discovered death metal and everything else. So I, I, I kind of like reached this weird, wide swath of music. That's I, when I first really discovered punk too. So, but yeah, this this was awesome. Yes, I mean, thank yeah, like like you said, just a thank you. Yeah, I mean, um, you really uh, the only thing we're gonna do is pretty much gush over this and talk about how much better this was than 80s Genesis. Even though I loved 80s yeah. Genesis, it just blew it away. Yeah. So, uh, so studio, dad, fairly well. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, when you get a chance to, go down into our description and check out our Cafe Press link for our t-shirt.